hey guys so welcome back to my channel this is gh kings so on this video i'm just gonna um, do mini twist on my hair because i'm about to do a long term protective hairstyle this time around i'm trying to do the um the no cone rose crochet braids because i just recently just took my hair out of a uh, bath braid so like i think my hair needs to breathe a little bit but at the same time it's cool i don't want to leave my natural hair out so i want to put my hair in a long term protective hairstyle so in case you haven't done so, I'm going to link a video up here that you guys can either watch right before this video or you can just watch this video and then go back to watch that video. So on that video, um, I basically like use um, uh, cocoa powder to, you know, do a deep treatment mask and this is the result of that. Um, my hair is not conditioned or anything. My hair is just drying on its own. I just shampooed the hair. Okay, so this is how my hair is looking like. So now I'm going to do this whole process on here for you guys to see. I'm using the aloe vera and mint leave-in conditioner from Divine Care Naturals. That's my product care line. Um, That's how it's, look it's looking like. Okay, so let's just get started. The pump is so cute. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> okay, so let's just get started. The consistency though. The consistency is like, it's very light and fluffy and creamy. And it smells good. It smells like proper mint. See, that's the consistency. It's not like very thick, which I love. So first, I'm just going to apply that to my entire hair. Okay, I'm going to apply a generous amount, you know, as much as I need in my hair. And then I'll start twisting my hair. And when I'm done twisting my hair, I'm going to put some shea butter on my hair. I'm doing this on a semi like wet hair because I want the twist to shrink a little bit because I'm going to do um, a long term protective hairstyle. I want the twist to, you know, shrink a little bit <laughs> as I twist it. So that's why I'm doing this on a semi, you know, wet hair. So I'm then applying in the leave-in conditioner, okay. And as you can see, because of the way I applied the leave-in conditioner, my hair has stretched a bit, which is fine with me. So I'm going to go ahead and start twisting up my hair. I'm going to show you guys how I do the twist, but I'm going to fast forward it. Alright? Alright guys, so I've been I've used like 50 good minutes to do this twist. Like yo, I'm so tired. I haven't eaten, but I have this amount of hair to get twisted. I for I literally forgot that I was actually recording. So I, when I remember, I was like, shoot, let me just come back because like it's so hard to just record and then be doing your hair at the same time. It takes longer time. Um, I had to. Put like a little bit of water to my hair because my hair was dry and I also I didn't want part of my hair to be long and then the other part that had water in it to be you know shrunk so yeah so I'm back yeah I'm going fast forward it though so the video doesn't be you know that long for you guys
Alright guys, so I'm done twisting the hair. In total, it took me an hour and seven minutes for me to twist up my hair. I think it's worth it. I mean, I could, I could have been done doing something else with my time, but it's worth it because, like I said, my hair was in a long term protective um, style. And I just took it out and um, I washed my hair today and I did this and um, I need to put my hair back in a long term protective style. But I'm, I'm still waiting for the hair. It, the hair was supposed to be here today, but it's still not here. I don't understand why it's not here. But hopefully it should be here like maybe Saturday. So maybe Sunday, night or Monday in the evening, I will just do the long term protective hairstyle. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to be doing the, um, the no cornrow crochet braid, so I'm just going to you know take the hair backwards like this and put on like a weaving cup and then just crochet the hair basically um i might not even do it i might just even use that hair as a weave and just install it in i don't know let the hair get here first but so far i do like i do like that twist it took much more time than i expected usually it took me it takes me about like 45 minutes to do that twist but i have noticed that my hair has grown a bit more like even the twist itself is much fuller so i do like that and it's a bit longer than usual so yeah um and also like usually when I'm, i do my twist i don't do them really tight like as you can see like the roots are not tight at all see it's so loose because i don't see the point of making the hair too tight like what's the point of it you know i'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to retain as much length that I can possibly retain so there is no point making their twist too tight like I can rock the hair out like this but uh, like if I do style it a little bit like you know pin size and you know just do whatever I want to do with the size and just pin it I can just honestly wear it out but like I just don't want my hair <laughs> I don't want to be looking like this outside okay because I feel like it makes me look a little bit older so I don't like that. That's the only reason why I'm not gonna be wearing this outside. So here is some shea butter. Okay, raw shea butter. I'm going to you know, grab a good amount like that. Um, maybe a bit more. Um, rub it in my palm and then apply it to the hair. That's the last thing I'm gonna do to the hair, and then I'm done. So I'm rubbing it so my palm will like heat up the shea butter. So it melts and I'll apply it to my hair and melt it. So I'm just going to apply it throughout my hair. So usually this is what I do if I put my hair in like mini twist or even like bigger twist. Um, this is what I do. I use a leave-in conditioner first and then when I'm done, I just, you know, top it with some shea butter to lock in all the, see the hair is, is cute, yeah, to, you know, I use shea butter to lock the moisture in there and that's it, that's it. If I decide that I'm going to actually use a hair to make a wig instead of a, um, instead of crochet, um then i will just be moisturizing my hair like maybe once in a while but if i decide not to and just do the crochet i will just put another i'll top it up with like another shea butter before i actually do the no cornrow crochet braid so for now this is all that i have for you guys um if you have any questions about how to how to do like small twist or anything just feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below if you want to know all the products that i use to achieve this twist just let me know i didn't really use any you know fancy thing or anything like that <laughs> but you know just comment in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please feel free to subscribe to my channel the goal is to get a thousand subscribers before the year runs out um i don't want to be negative i think we got everything is possible so let's see how that goes and yeah to all my subscribers thank you and as always god loves you more and i love you too all right bye